Korean, Korean, Korean. Like hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're gonna do a kind of different kind of video. Um, I talked about it in my. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe I did this. I accidentally posted my like Alta haul unedited, so like sometimes when I record videos, I don't know which way I'm gonna upload them. So I'll include two versions like in a statement. So in one of the statements, I talked about like going to a Korean spa and getting a Korean scrub. So I wasn't sure if I was gonna upload the Alta haul before I recorded this video. So in there, I inserted two parts where I said, like I said in my Korean spa video, or like I will say in the Korean spa video. So I know in that video you guys are like, what is she talking about? She hasn't done it neither. So it's, yeah, sorry about that. Um, I need to pay attention when I'm uploading. Uh, I gotta do a little bit better than that. But anyways, but here is the Korean spa video that I've been dying to talk about. A couple weeks ago, like a month now, me and my friends got a Groupon and we went to Tribeca, New York and Tribeca Korean spa it's in I guess Tribeca um, I will link all the information of the group on still available I'll link it down below and basically it's like a little little place you go to and you get a Korean body scrub and I didn't know what that was before going my friends I did it before and my one friend enjoyed it the other one was like eh. but they both were like they would go back and then I love to try new things especially when it comes to beauty so I was like whenever y'all want to go back I'm down so they were like all right let's like go so we booked, like I said, on Groupon, and we went. And I got the just the basic package where they just give you a scrub and nothing, nothing fancy. And then my one friend, it was, it was, it was we had gotten her the same like a package for her birthday, so she had to get a massage and a scrub. And then my other friend just did a scrub, just like me. So we go, and the first thing you do is you walk in, and they send you to a little area, and you gotta get changed. Now you have to get naked, like naked, no bra disposable panties butt naked and you're like a little towel and then the first thing you do is I'm gonna say it's um I'm gonna say sauna I'm not quite sure which one's a sauna and which was a steam room one the one with the wood I'm gonna go with sauna and the one with it's like just a it looks like kind of like a bathroom is I'm gonna go with steam room but if I'm wrong please correct me I have no problem being corrected if I'm dead wrong but you go into a room that looks like just like a bathroom like a shower but it's like it's not it's meant for you to sit and and get like steamed like it's just hot you're just in there hot air on you and I, I oh my god my, my asthma was definitely kicking in and then they give you like water they like, gave me water and I was drinking my water and I was doing fine and then I was in there for like maybe five minutes and you go into what looks like literally like a torture chamber and that's what it reminded me of it was like just like a big room and it's two per person but since we were in threes I ended up being alone which worked out fine for me you go into this room and it's like a curtain separates you and the other bed and you the lady tells you to disrobe so she sees you you know except with your little disposable panties and you lay down the bed and like she wets you with like hot like pretty much hot water I like hot water so it was very soothing for me and then she lays like these hot towels on you and just and then you're about to get scrubbed and basically they put something on your face too I mean they probably don't want you to see their technique and whatnot but you know they put stuff on your face like a little towel like this and then you just kinda try to relax now as you guys may know my ears are starched out I got tattoos I have piercings I take it that I take pain very well I don't think I do because I'm always such a chicken but I was going in like, oh my god, this is going to hurt. Because all my friends said, like, it hurts. It didn't really hurt. I actually fell asleep. It was, I had a really nice time. So basically, like I said, you lay down and then they start, on me, she started with my upper, like, so I'm laying on my back. So she started with my legs first and then moved her way up to my chest area. So at the leg, they, I bought this, they sell this too. It's like this. And this is what they use to scrub you with. It's very abrasive. You definitely want to use it damp or your skin damp. And then the guy recommended to me is to put um, like a towel in here with your hand. And then you can go like, and then it gives you like better grip. So they take this and they just scrub like, but hard, you know, like they're going in. They're trying to get rid of everything. And I'm sorry, before I forget, when you go, they give you, they make you fill out a paper and then you can make requests and stuff like that on there kind of you talk about the degree of the scrubbing so for me I put three which is like normal and then also on mine because I have piercings like on my belly area and stuff like that 
and I put on their like, you know, I had my nipple pierced at the time, so I was like, you know, I put on their like, you know, do not scrub where my piercings are. I mean, I know it's really stupid, like they shouldn't know, but I, just to be safe and sorry for my conscience, I put it on there just to be safe. And the lady was like, I said, she'll scrub and scrub. And it was funny because at one point, I told her, like, I didn't want her scrubbing near my bottom area because I have a dermal down there. And she laughed so hard. She was like, we don't scrub down there. And I was like, oh, like, I didn't know. Like, I've never been here before. So me and her were busting it up, cracking up the entire time. Like, my lady was so funny. If you ever go to Tribeca at the spot, get Grace. She's amazing. Like, I want to go back just specifically for her because she made the experience so, like, comfortable like I was naked and I felt so comfortable her. she was so hilarious she laughed with me we were joking and what a blah like it was and I barely understood we barely understood each other and it was like it was still fun so as I was saying like they scrub though like and she's going in like scrubbing 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 and like you're going you're going you're going and then she gets like I said to your chest you do your underarms everywhere I mean except your front crotch area pretty much everywhere gets scrubbed and then you got to roll over so like they like wet the area and then as you're rolling over they're like kind of still cleaning it so of course I had to open my eyes to see what I was doing and I just saw like mountains I kid you not of like gray gunk like that's the color it looked and then she was just like yeah you know it's all your dead skin and dead whatever products like lotions and stuff like that you put over on top it just builds up builds up builds up and it just lays there if you don't exfoliate it very well so she turned me over I laid on my stomach and then she did my whole back area. And then this part was really hilarious too. So I have a pretty decent size behind. And <laughs> she did like the underwear. Like she like pulled it up some so she can get like my cheek area. <laughs> and like it got kind of got stuck. Because like, like I said I have a pretty big behind. And then like the underwear thing got stuck. So she needed my help to like get it out. It was, we, I was crying. Like we were laughing so hard. And me, me and Grace were just like. That was my homie. So she scrubbed, 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 did my whole back, you know, blah, blah, blah. And then, honestly, the scrubbing part, like just scrubbing, I would say was definitely like 40 minutes, maybe a little bit more. Like she scrubbed me to death, which is what you go for. And then, um, so after they scrub you all over, the last kind of phase is like they put like um like the cucumber mask thing. It's like it just it's literally like cucumbers, and they just lay them on your face. And then you can get your hair washed, but my hair was like kind of like in this style, which was like straightened in my opinion. So it was like uh uh like I still have like two more weeks with this hair. Like you're not about to wet it. But my friends got their hair washed and they really enjoyed it because they really scrubbed their scalp and all that. So if you want to uh, for the next time like. If I go again, I'm definitely going to make sure I plan it around my hair. Not being straightened, because so I can get the hair massage too, you know? So, my friends did the hair wash. I didn't. They, like, I just got to wear a little um, shower cap and whatnot. And then they wet me. I mean, I'm sorry. Then after that, after the mask and all that, like, she's, like, still, like, I think she was using, like, soap at that point. Like, I don't forget, like, because I was honestly, like, in and out. I was, like, sleeping and awake and, you know? But, like, I think after the scrub, you get soap or more scrub. Either way, she was just, clean, like, still going with the thing. And then you're done. Like, then they make you stand up, and then you go to, like, this little shower area, and then you kind of rinse. You can, um, like, if you had the shampoo in your hair, you'd be rinsing out the shampoo. I didn't, so I just washed my face. They had, like, I think, honestly, a vino. I rinse my face with it. Like, I clean my face, I'm sorry. And then I just, like, she, like, used the shower head, a different one on me. So I was, like, washing my face. She was washing me all over, and then we laughed in another part because I have also pretty decent sized boobs so she was like trying to get under my boob area so she like lifted it up and I just started laughing it was just so funny because I never had another person like touch me like that you know like just touch my body and it was like but she did it in, she did it in like such a like whatever manner they like I just it felt I felt very comfortable it was so weird and like I said we were busting it up laughing so like she did that and she was like well, rinsing me all over rinse me you know da -da -da, she asked me if I was fine I needed like to be rinsed some more like I like you know just looked down at myself and I was like okay, I a little more we rinsed a little bit more and then um that was pretty much it after that then you go ahead and you wrap yourself up in the towel and then you can hang out in the I'm gonna say this is a sauna it's like with the wood like the little wood material and you get just sitting there it's like hot also she gave me more water and I just hung out there and then hung out there for like 15 minutes and then I got up and then I went and got dressed and they have like amazing lotion it was like mint like rosemary mint oh, 
I was tempted to buy it too, but I have so many lotions at home. I was like, I don't need any more. But if I need a lotion, I would, I would rebuy it. I would buy it. It, it smells so good. And then, like, I just rubbed myself with some lotion. I did my makeup, which was literally that day I used the, uh, um, this baby, the Laura Mercier, with like eyeliner, a little mascara. It was like nothing serious, a little bit of lipstick, and I kid you not. I felt so smooth. I still feel smooth from that. I feel like my skin is like way smoother than it was prior to August. Like it just felt, it just felt so smooth. It just felt like, oh, this is skin life. And like I said, I really loved it. I was like, oh, I could do this again. Like I said, like it was a great treatment. I thoroughly recommend it. It is a little bit pricey. Like I think up front, if you just go there, it's like $120. So I really recommend getting a Groupon because the Groupon was like 60 and then you pay like tip up front, which was $20, I think it was. So in all, it was 80 But honestly, that tip was so worth it because you know they're cleaning all over you so I think it's well deserved and like I said my girl was she was my homie like we were busting it up like she was she was good. really had a good time and I haven't seen any videos like this online I mean at least from any of the channels I watch um, I haven't really searched it and whatever so they might exist whatever but I want to make my own because I did experience it firsthand and I had a really good time and this mint ran me I think ten dollars so worth it I actually used to always use the exfoliating gloves like the mint they feel like mush compared to this like this bad boy you're gonna get your skin off and I mean obviously I'm not scrubbing as hard as like the lady did because you know it's always easier to scrub something than yourself but I strongly recommend I mean it was a great treatment your skin will love it and it's like just a nice treatment like I don't know about you guys but I love to try new beauty related stuff like that's my jam you know what I mean like it's like telling me there's a new game out like I'm gonna want to play it well same with beauty like you tell me there's something cool in beauty I'm gonna want to try it so and like my friends the two I went with they have like amazing skin amazing hair and you know, if they recommend me something, I'm going to want to try it too. Like, if it worked for them, I'm going to hope that it works for me. Um, I get my facials done with them, and we love, I love where I go get my facials done. So, you know, when they said, let's try this place, I was like, let's go. Like, whenever. So, I did have a good time, and like I said, my body feels still good from that treatment. So, I definitely want to go back. I'm definitely going to look into, like, talking to them about, you know, when we booking another the Groupons and going back, because it was good. So I hope you enjoyed this video. My experience to get a Korean scrub at a Korean spa. That was kind of hard to say. Sorry. So, so yeah. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.